My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 and the Japanese themed series on the custom map on, that's available on the workshop, the Gorges of Shikoku. We're starting today having a good look at the ever-growing, ever-expanding, both horizontally and vertically, skyline and city that is Uwajima. Today, I want to start work on a little rural train line that runs from Uwajima to some of the small towns on the little peninsula just behind us to the right. We looked at them previously and explored the idea of having some sort of rural passenger line, and I'd like to actually get that done today if possible. Now I've noticed here we have two trains waiting, one is on platform, one is waiting to go onto the platform. Let's just get the uh, user interface back up, shall we, before we do anything else. Oh, what do we have here? JGR 462 Class C57 Standard Shape, 62 miles per hour. Looks, yeah, we might have a look at that. Uh, but first of all, I want to make sure that this train isn't going to block anything else from getting in and out of the stations. Yes, it might block the machinery delivery train, which is a bit of a problem, or it could be a problem if we have a, oh, we have one coming right now. So what we're going to, oh, never mind, the train has just departed, so this, uh, the waiting train will be able to get onto the station, get out of the way, and then this one can drop off all the machinery, but that is something to bear in mind and something that we might want to take a look at a little bit later, see if we can reorganise that so that doesn't happen again and cause too many issues but for now it'll be fine so yes getting a rural station or you know a country passenger line from Uwajima over to these towns over here Kakubo, Miura, Yusu and Shitaba uh, the first one we'll go to will be Kokubo it's the nearest one we could I suppose have one to Kashima we could have a bridge over this bit of water here but for now, we'll focus on the basics and we'll go into Kokubo. So what we're going to want to do is build ourselves a nice area where we can put down a passenger station for Kokubo. I'm probably not going to supply any goods to any of these towns, if I'm perfectly honest. Maybe to Miura. We have a food nearby. And do we have, a, I think the nearest processing plant is this one. We could run it down here. Shitaba, Yusu will definitely not receive any supplies. Kokubo maybe, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I don't want to grow them too big anyway is what I'm saying here. So what we're going to do first of all then is flatten off a nice area for us to work with so we can build our train station. And we'll have it in this area here. So let's just get ourselves a nice flat bit of land so we can put our station down without messing up the train too severely. There we are, 22 million for all of that, but that's fine. And then what we want to do is actually remove the trees in this area, like that, so we can see the train properly. And then we just want to smooth some of it off, because we have some weird undulations and hills formed where we couldn't quite see the train and where we missed spots, but that's okay. Alright, that should do quite nicely. And then we want to put down a station. What does a JNR station look like? I'll use one of those, I think. In terms of its length, should we go for 240 meters? We don't want anything. Well, maybe we'll stick to 160. It doesn't need to be too big. And should we just have the one platform? Yeah, we'll just go for one platform, I think, just so it keeps that small rural aesthetic we'll have the catenary but we'll not have high speed tracks and we'll put the station just there and we want to give it road access of course so we'll do that straight away we're gonna have to get rid of that industry on the corner there but that's okay just like that that will work perfectly fine and then we need to f devise a way to get ourselves from this passenger line here over into the station at Kokubo. So we'll start from Kokubo and we'll work backwards, I think, is the best thing to do here. Now we are going to have to have the tracks climb quite severely because we're going to need a bridge at some point. 
but these trains are not going to be the longest trains in the world so that shouldn't be too much of a problem give it a nice tunnel entrance and we'll go to there to start with this will be double tracked eventually a little a little outcropping there a little breath of fresh air whatever you want to call it just there so up here at 98 meters that's probably too high what we want to do is we'll come off down here and we'll start our line that's going to obviously head from Uwe Jima onto the little local service that we're setting up. If we keep that roughly level so we have the nice smooth transition, maybe like that should be okay. And we'll double that up and hopefully that looks nice and tidy yeah I'm pleased with that that's fine and then we'll head off straight here what oh we're only at 12 meters okay well maybe we didn't need to climb up quite so dramatically as we were doing from Kakubo in fact I'm gonna say we can redo that back to the station and we'll, we'll do it from this we'll come at this approach instead now we want to make sure we can have a bridge over the river which we do have uh, 11 meters will you be high no you're probably not gonna generate a tunnel under the uh, under the train lines there let's raise you up a little let's go to say four meters so we drop in five meters in total we're gonna have a little bridge over here of course what does that bridge look like that looks fine we're not gonna have any uh, any ships running up here at any point in the future so we can close off the river to ship access it's not a problem and hopefully now what we can do is tunnel if we keep it straight tunnel straight underneath all of this that we have going on no it's not gonna give us a tunnel oh it will give us a Oh, it will, but back there, that's a problem. Okay, now you're going below water level, which might be a problem. Hopefully not. So drop off four meters there, and then will you get a tunnel? You certainly will. And what about if you stay level? Will you still keep the tunnel? It will. Go away. There we go, and that's going to work fine. And then we'll parallel track it all. We can paint some of that rock if we want to grass, just so it doesn't look quite as uh, weird. And then from here, well, from here we can come out. So what we're at minus one meter there. So we'll keep this track perfectly level because this is at what forty? Oh no, it's a length, you idiot. We're at fourteen meters. Okay. And what we'll do, we'll go coastal on this one where we can. Because then we're not going to need quite so many tunnels. And we can keep a nice scenic journey for us all. Where are the train lines? Up there, that should work fine. In fact, we should be able to just do something like that and get it straight in. Give ourselves the nice tunnel entrances so it's not just the invisible tunnels which look odd. In fact, could we get away without a tunnel there? Yes, we could. We've unlocked the GAZMM trucks as well, so we can have a look at those a little bit later on if we wish. We're going to need the tunnel here, of course, because we're going to a tunneled track, so that's fine. But it's not tunneling all the way, which is going to be a lot nicer and a lot more pleasant of a cab ride, should we choose to take a cab ride out here at any point, which I imagine we will. And what we're going to do is just very simply put parallel tracks all the way towards the station. And then just bring this in. If we can get that to 50, that would be wonderful. And we can do exactly that. What I'm going to do now is just go over where the tracks are with the asset eraser tool. And just make sure we don't have any trees and bushes too close. Just like that, so we'll pick it back up in a moment when this this is all done. Okay, there we go. 
And now we'll go over with the terrain smoothing tool just to just to blend it all in a little bit nicer than it currently is. And as we can see, that is removing some of the rock face that it's generated, but not all of it. We can paint the rest if we want to. The main thing we want to do is get all this nice and smooth as well. So we don't have those sharp transitions where we've gone for a cutting rather than a tunnel, as we can see just there. Okay, that will work quite nicely. Yeah, that's all fine. That's going to work exactly as we need it to do. So let's get some signals in here. And we might need to play about with the signals at the junction. We might have a few close signals at the moment. Oh, no, no, they're not too bad. So we'll have a signal there and there. That one is probably too short. So we'll push that one forward just a touch to about there just so there's no overhang on the junction and we don't start blocking anything else in and we'll have those to clear the signal block there and then from here on out we're just going to have parallel signals all the way down now we have the uh the modern signals now as we can see the modern signals will see some use in the future but for this small little local service will keep the old style signals I think in fact that signals too close I didn't realize how close you were to the station there let's just push those back to say there okay there we go what sort of range do you have why do you not have any range at all do you have a road connection I'm gonna say that you don't Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, I see. There we go. Now we have the connection. It was closer to the station building than I thought it was. Now what sort of coverage do you have? Not the best, so you will need a simple small bus loop around here. So we'll do that for you, and you can use this bus station. And we'll have a stop just outside there. And then you can come down here. Swing around here. Before heading back up. And we'll quickly put this line together. There we go. And this will be... I can't remember the naming nomenclature here. But we'll go for bus service. Co-Cubo station. I think that's what we've called them. Let's have a look yeah perfect let's get ourselves a depot out here as well just so we can get the buses on the line without having to wait for them to travel too far and you can go just there buy vehicles passenger the fuso and i think we'll just have two for this we're not going to need too many you can have full maintenance and you are pink is it that pink maybe that one who knows who cares there we go so that's that set up. Now we want to head on down to Miura. And again, we might need to clear a bit of land just to give us a nice flat platform to work on here. So we'll do that quickly now. Okay, there we go. Now we can build our station. And we'll use this style station again. And we'll put it just put it back there get the road connection in this time we know that we need to be quite close to the station building to generate the connection which we have done connect into the road maybe just do a little bit of smoothing just here and again just along the edges here where we've pushed the mountains back a little just to blend it all together make it look a little bit more natural you have very little reach so you will need a bus service as well and now we can run out the train lines from here. And you're at 3 metres. Let's have you climb up to 8 metres. And you're going to go through a bit of a tunnel here, but that's okay. But hopefully the rest of the journey will be at ground level. Or at least in the open, so we don't have a tunnel. Let's keep you at, yeah, 13 metres is fine. And what we're going to do here 
is we're gonna have a bridge over this little inlet just here a nice sweeping bridge what bridge do we want to use maybe we'll go for that one again how does it look yeah it looks although I don't like the fact there's no sides to it that looks a bit a little bit ropey a bit dicey let's go for the, yeah, the generic iron bridge then so there's our bridge over there so we've not had to interact with this farm at all and because we are close to sea level the idea is we shouldn't need too many tunnels although we're gonna need one here because the terrain is a lot steeper than I gave it credit for but let's bring it towards the aim for the the edge of the water here and then we can have a nice journey along the side of this road here between these two towns Miura and Kokubo stay level there can we avoid a tunnel there mm, maybe not so we're gonna have to have another tunnel but that's okay should come out pretty soon where are we want to be up here that's a bit of a climb there but that's okay we don't want to climb that high not from here I think we want to stay about six to 24 meters should be perfectly fine I think we'll need a tunnel on that section so we'll put a tunnel there but we'll have a cutting on this side Ooh, a nice viaduct here would look quite pleasant and then we should be able to connect this in quite nicely again we're gonna to have to have a tunnel here because we're going into a sheer cliff face but that's okay and speeds not too bad slow down as we approach the station but you know you're always going to slow down because you're coming to a stop at the station anyway but from here we can just parallel track all of this all the way back to the uh, the station that we just put in Miura and here we are just emerging from the final tunnel now and again the speed is fine because we'll be coming to a stop at the station anyway and now I'm just going to do the same thing as before where we just run the eraser tool alongside the tracks to remove any closing trees okay that's that taken care of and now we can go to the terrain tool and just smooth off any of the worst excess that we've generated with our tracks especially where we've manually put in a cutting rather than a tunnel so we'll do that nice and quickly as well and we are back so now we can put in our signals for this section of the track so we'll have one there and then another set here and then we'll just fill in the rest nice and quickly okay there we go so that's our line out as far as Miura now we can do the bus service for Miura we can I don't know why we've got it paused we don't need it paused so what bus service let's have this one a new style bus stop and again right outside the station entrance and then just a simple loop around the town the town does extend out quite a way and in fact what we'll do here is we'll connect these roads in like that one building will be removed that's fine just quickly smooth off the terraforming and now we can continue with our bus service so we've gone there so now we want to come up along here and then finally back to the station there so again nice and quickly on the line setup wonderful and this is bus service and this is Miura station we'll keep the pink color it's similar to the one that we had over in uh, I can't remember the town name but it's fine because they're so far apart that you're not going to get the two lines confused we want a depot of course and we'll put that best nestled into the cliffside just there 
Again, probably just two is going to be enough for this. It's only a small town. Give them high maintenance. Give them the colour scheme and set them on their way. So the next place we're going to hit is Shitaba. Or, maybe, or do we want to come out to Yuzu? I think we'll come to Yuzu. And this will be a terminus station out here. So we can't use the JNR station for this. So we're going to have to use the generic passenger terminus station. We're going to have two tracks here. Because we might have a little line that just runs over to Shitaba. But this is going to be the primary stop on this service. Let's see if we can get this in here nicely. Well, I think we'll be able to if we do this. Like that. And then put down the station. It should snap it in and we have a connection yep that will work so there's Shitaba's so Yuzu's station and then what we'll do is we'll just flatten off a nice run after the station and around the station to make it look a little bit more natural looking smooth it all together blend it in and then get that magic eraser tool and just run along here and get rid of some of these trees like that and then if we go back to the paint tool, we can just see where we've missed some of these weird little hills and what have you. And this service will have it run... We'll try and keep it as close to the river's edge as possible. We don't need a tunnel there. We can have a cutting for that. We will need a diamond here on approach to the station, so we'll give them a diamond. We can get back to about 48, 50 miles an hour. That's going to be fine. Wonderful. We can get both sides in without any issues. And then this is just going to, as I said, try and follow the coast here as much as we can. We're going to have to have a tunnel there, unfortunately, but that's fine. And where are we headed here? Well, we're going to have to cut a tunnel through this section of mountain or hillside here. And if we keep that level, that should give us one long tunnel, which indeed it has. And then as we emerge from the other side of this little hills range here, what we'll do is, can we cross that road nicely? Oh, we're quite elevated there. Although I quite, yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll go with that. Because then we can avoid cutting through the farmer's fields quite as much. In fact, we can probably turn that a little bit more aggressively there. Because we were just clipping the edge of the farm building where we had it. There we go. And again, we'll go for the iron bridge here. It's all a bit slow around here on these corners, but that's fine. It is a little local commuter uh, passenger service commuter service so doesn't need to be for the fastest it's not going to be an express service out here by any stretch of the imagination and from here we should be able to go straight in yes we'll have a tunnel that's okay we are going through quite an extensive hillside there yeah it's quite nice should be quite a pleasant journey for all the passengers So yes, quite a slow service out here, but that's okay. That is not the end of the world. And then just bring you in like that. And again, the last thing we're going to do here is put in all of our signals. So that's the signals done and then we'll do the old trick with the eraser tool just to remove some of the trees that have encroached onto the line. Maybe even remove some from the water's edge just so we have a clearer view in any cab rides that we may go for. And there we go. And then last but not least we want to do the smoothie smoothie where the train looks a bit naff.
And there we go. So you, Zoo, you have pretty decent coverage, so you might not need a bus service, actually. But what we can do now is actually set up the train, what's going to run on this line. And it's going to be a stopping service, calling all the stations and then heading back. Let's just see, how are we in terms of platform availability? We're going to need some more platforms here because we have both platforms in use at Uwe Jima. So let's go ahead and expand this station. So we'll go for the Katin retracts because why the heck not? And then we want to go platforms. Let's mix it up and go for the generic passenger platforms here. Just to add a bit of variety to the station like that. We'll want the underpasses, which I believe is in miscellaneous. Yes, it is. So an underpass there and there. And the last thing we want is a roof, but we'll have the JNR style roof to blend in with the, the other roofs that we have at this station. And there we go. Now we can connect at least one of these platforms into the lines. So what we'll do is we will go like that and can we get that in as well yes we can doesn't matter about the speed just smooth that off there we don't need them to come out this way at this point so we'll leave that as it is for now oh in fact yes we will in fact mm, a bit tight a bit close no it should be no it should be fine it should be fine so new line so we're going Uwajima and then we're coming out this way to Kokubo. That's all fine. And then from Kokubo, you're going on to Miura and then down to Yusu. And then you're heading all the way back. So it's a multi stop service. Have I missed anything out there? Uwajima, Kokubo, Miura, Yusu, Miura, Kokubo. And then obviously back to Uwajima. Oh, I see. Yeah, we don't need to do that. There. Yeah, we'll loop back to Uwajima automatically right so that will be absolutely fine what do we want to call this should we call this i've lost the line now by clicking that what an idiot here we go how about uwajima coast no just put the coastal service if we can spell it coastal service or no coastal line i suppose would be a little bit of a better fit so coastal line I like the uh, navy blue dark blue color we'll keep that now we can actually purchase the train and our passenger depot is this one here by vehicles locomotives this gives us a chance to look at that train we just unlocked which is the JGR 462 class C57 62 miles per hour not as fast as the SU However, this service is not going to be a very fast service anyway. So we'll we'll use that train just so we've got it on the map. And if we don't like the look of it, we can always change it out. Passenger wagons, the Igorov 202. Yes, we'll go with that one. And you are this colour. And I think just two carriages is going to be more than enough, but we'll have two of the trains. We'll jack the maintenance up because we can afford to at this point. Put it on the coastal line and away they go. Anybody picking up the coastal line yet? Not at Uwe Jima. Nobody at Kokubo. Nobody at Miura. And nobody at Yuzu. Hopefully that will change soon. I'm sure people in these towns will want to head to Uwe Jima. So we should see some generation pretty quickly. Maybe once the trains get up and running, that's when they'll start realising, hey, we can go to Uwajima now using the lovely, lovely trains. Speaking of, let's have a quick look at this train. Not too bad. I like the big wheels. They're very striking. They do draw the eye. Very clean, very sleek. Just going over the bridge, over the freight line there I 
I dare say all our existing passenger lines can have their carriages updated to the Igorovs because they are the same speed but they've got slightly higher capacity than, than the Suburbans. So I think we'll do that right now. So we want all the shuttle services. And that one, all of these. We've done the coastal line, don't need to do that one. Is that all of them? One, two, three. I thought we had more than that, but perhaps not. Okay, yep, that's fine then. And we can now go to edit all the vehicles, and we're just going to drop off the existing wagons and replace them for the Igorovs. So these ones are pink, so we'll make sure we match up the colours as best we can. There we go. In fact, you can all have your maintenance jacked up as well, because why the heck not? Anybody heading on this coastal line yet? Not yet. Oh, we do have somebody at Kokubo. That's good to see. Uh, we have somebody at Miura as well, and over at Yuzu, we also have somebody. Perfect. So I think that's what we'll uh, end it on today. What we'll do is I'll just pause the date progression, but I'll accelerate the time. Once our first train arrives at Yuzu and starts its journey back, we'll take a ride on that. It might not be the full length into Uwajima, but uh, we'll certainly have a decent ride on it. We'll not go, you know, we'll, we'll go at least as far as Kokubo, and uh, we'll decide. I'll decide from there whether we. Ex In fact, no, I will go all the way to Uwajima. Then, if you want to watch the full journey, you can. If you just want to watch a part of it, obviously you're free to. Uh, Finish your viewing at any time along the train ride. It's up to you guys, but at least now you have the option. For those of you who want to go all the way into Uwajima, you can do so. So, well, yeah, we'll just wait for this to get into the station, and then we shall enjoy a little cab ride. So we're going all the way to Yuzu, so don't jump on just yet. So while we're waiting for that then, and before I put the little jump cut in at this point, let's say our goodbyes. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm glad I finally got this passenger service set up. It's a nice little coastal run. It should be quite scenic and quite attractive in terms of the cab ride. Lovely view over the ocean there. A few islands off in the distance and the likes. In the next episode, um, we're going to put in a line into Shitaba. Whether it comes from Yuzu to Shitaba or Miura, I'm not sure. It could do both and have a little triangle sort of service. And perhaps have one in Tukushima as well with a nice bridge over this span of water just here. And we'll connect it into this area around there somewhere. Other than that, I'm toying with the idea of an express service that covers most of our map. I'm thinking we go from Uojima to perhaps Mima because that's a fairly populous city. And then we'll skip Sayo and we'll go straight into Yawatohama. And that will form eventually one of the, uh, the bullet trains as and when we get to that point, which is somewhere off yet. We're only 1939, August 1939. So they're some way off being unlocked. But as soon as they are, that's what we're going to use them for. And we might even give it, at times, its own dedicated rail line. So it's not having to share and get held up by the slower city-to-city uh, -city services. So yes, all that remains for me to say while we wait for the train to arrive and jump on board is thank you very much for watching. As always, take very good care of yourselves. It's Tata for now. <laughs>